Good morning, good morning, YouTube. So it is 4.30 in the morning, and today I'm gonna be doing the 20,000 calorie challenge. So, but before we get to this video, I just wanna tell you guys a couple things. The first thing is that you are greatly, greatly loved, and that you are wonderfully and beautifully created, and that you are capable of more than you could ever imagine. The next thing I want to share with you guys is, before you watch this video, if you could just take two minutes to watch this video right here. It's a story about this boy that I'm trying to raise money for. His name is Akaden. He was diagnosed with Wilms tumor, and now his family needs help financially so that he could receive his last little bit of chemotherapy so he could be completely, completely ridded of the cancer. So if you guys would, would you please share his story, share his fundraiser link, and if you if you are in the position to, donate financially as well. But the main thing is just really be spreading the story. If we could get 38,000 people to see his story and each donate $1, he would be able to receive the rest of the therapy he needs and it would save his life. All right, well, without further ado, I guess it is time. It's time. Let's do this 20,000 calorie challenge. My beautiful wife is not with me today. Um, if you guys watched the 10,000 calorie challenge, we did that one together. But this time she had to go to her sister's bachelorette party, so she's meeting meeting up with me later. So hopefully that'll be like another kickstart, another boost of energy later in the day. So right now, I am going to get started. So guys, I do not really have a plan of how to attack this 20,000 calories. So what I'm gonna do is just gonna eat some of my favorite foods until I'm full and then stop and then eat some more and then hopefully later on today Phoebe will help me out. Alright so what I want to get started with is and yes I might be judged for this because everyone else who's done this challenge uses Dunkin Donuts but I'm going to use my favorite donut place Krispy Kreme. It's time to get started to have me a glass of milk, a cup of coffee and these donuts and it is 4.45. Forty nine. So that was the first round of donuts, but I, I think I'm gonna eat a couple more and then save two to eat with Phoebe later. So let me go heat these up and I'll be right back. But those donuts were delicious. They were absolutely incredible. Let's go see how many calories those are. Okay, with those donuts, it came up to 2,582 calories. Not a bad way to start off the challenge. So next, I really have to study some, and so I'm gonna be doing some studying. Oh, I forgot to weigh in. That's not good. So we're gonna weigh in after 10 donuts. Let's go do that real quick. All right, so as you guys could see there, I was 183, but again, that was after 10 donuts. So now I'm gonna be eating Subway cookies. There's a few of them here. I don't know how many I'm gonna eat, um, but there's some sugar cookies, some chocolate chunk, um, and I'm just going to be doing that as I study and do some reading. Okay, so it is 4.56 and I'm going to be doing some UWorld questions. So this is like a question bank that all medical students pretty much have to do. While I do that, I'll eat these cookies. Now I think I am going to be done. So I only ate four cookies. I had a chocolate chip, chocolate chunk cookie, two sugar cookies, and the white macadamia nut. So now I am going to get to studying and stop eating for a little bit. I do not want to get too sick, 
before the rest of my day. And the time, 5.01. Okay, I lied. I decided I wanted to eat these last two before I get to study in. Really close to 4,000 calories to start the day. So I think that should be able to fuel me to get some good studying in now. I said the one more thing. It is one of my childhood favorites. Peanut butter, um, I can't remember, I cannot even remember what they're called. It's like a peanut butter wafer bar or uh, I don't know, I don't remember, but I remember as a child, I loved these, and it's probably the main reason why I was obese as a child. So this is gonna be the last thing I eat before I go run. It is 5.54 right now. I know, I supposed to study for an hour, I didn't make it. Mm. That was honestly delicious. Okay, so right now I am at 4,232 calories. It is 556. So the layout for the rest of the day is that I am gonna go for a run um, before I go to church. I have to be at church at nine o'clock because I help out with the youth. So, and then from there I'm gonna get ready for church. It's about a 30 to 40 minute drive. So I'll probably leave around 8.30ish. Get to church around nine help out with the youth, and then uh, we have morning service. After that, we have a little get together with the pastor and some of the other leaders, and so they are treating us to pizza, so I'm pretty excited about that. And then I should finally be able to meet up with Phoebe and spend the rest of the day with her. Okay, so now I'm gonna get ready to go run and hopefully have a great run. I'm fueled with all, this sweet, all these sweets and all this sugar. Hopefully I do not throw up. But honestly, I feel pretty good right now, so I should be all right. All right, let's go get this run in. All right, guys, time to get on with this run. It looks like a beautiful, beautiful morning. So that eight mile run was rough, to be completely honest. Much harder than what I expected, but I am now about to eat those last two donuts. I know I said I was gonna wait on Phoebe to eat them, but I changed my mind. So it is currently, Ooh. 7.42, yes. Hi, right, 7.42, now let me grab those donuts. All right, here are the delicious donuts. So as much as I love sweets and I love donuts, I have to stop for a little bit. I've probably, there's no telling how many grams of sugar I have had, so now I'm gonna have to move on to some McDonald's. And I just got caught vlogging by some of my roommates. What's up? Hello? Where are you headed? I'm headed to North Nassau. Ooh, nice. So Phoebe and I live with a ton of flight attendants and they're always going to super cool places that they get to tell us about. So it's always fun to live vicariously through them as we're stuck in the hospital all the time. So I forgot to show you guys a timestamp at the end so I just ran back upstairs. It is 7.49 and let me calculate how many calories I have eaten now. Calories, we are right now at 4,000 882 and I kind of wanted to be above 5,000 before I went to church so it's 120 calories what can I eat that would be 120 calories and absolutely delicious another peanut butter wafer so I'm gonna add 0.5 of those all right so if I eat one more not a whole package just half the package I'll be at 5,032 so let me destroy that real quick Oh. Oh wait, they're right here. Mmm. 
Well, while I finish this one, I can show you around our little room. All right. That's a big mirror that we have. Mm -hmm. Phoebe and I's medical school picture. Us when we got married. Our desk. Our little mini fridge. My protein, best protein in the world. Phoebe's Krispy Kremes. Running stuff. White coat jackets. Camera stuff. And this is our bed. Yeah. So this is our room. It's pretty small, but Phoebe and I are trying to save money um, early in our marriage. So we're trying to, we're staying here at a place called the Red Eye, which we absolutely love. Um, but it is kind of small. But again, we're going to save money so that um, when we can buy our own place and kind of be out of medical school and be into residency, then we'll kind of be more financially stable by all the money that we saved through living here. And it, it's incredible. The people, our um, landlords, are so nice and they give us such great deals and provide us tons of stuff like coffee, snacks, and things like that. All right, last two bites. Okay. Now, I'm going to go get showered and get ready for church. Woo woo! You are not going to church today. Next Sunday, get your butt to church. Okay? If, and if you may be of a different faith and maybe do not believe in the same God I do, hey, that is completely fine. But if you ever, ever, ever want to talk about the God that I believe in, the God that sent his only son, Jesus Christ, to die for us upon the cross to save us from our sins and who rose again after three days to give us victory over death, I would love to talk to you about him because he has shown me the most incredible, unconditional, um, endless love I could ever fathom. I mean, I have a father that sent his only son to die for me when he knew I'd mess up every single day. So if you guys are of a different faith, I respect that completely. But if you've ever liked to talk to me about my faith, I would absolutely love that. All right, I love you guys. Time to get to church. Okay, so since I'm running late to church, I did not get to run to McDonald's like I wanted to. So I am going to be having to eat a little bit of snacks on the way there. So what I got are these white Reese's here that I'm going to eat, which are my favorite Reese's. I love, love, love white chocolate. And then I also picked up some cashews. I do not have my scale to weigh them right now. So I'm just going to be eating from the can. And then I'll, um, it says that there are nine servings here. So I'll just weigh them out, divide it by nine, and see how much that I ate throughout the day. Okay. I found a McDonald's and I had to veer off on that exit super fast. So that's what I'm doing now is I'm here at McDonald's and I'm hoping it does not make me late for church. Again, be trying to eat this on the way to church. So hopefully I could do that and not be too late. I just gotta make sure I get back on the right way here. All right, it is 8.42. 8.42 8.42 and I, oh awesome, estimated arrival to church, 8.53, we are doing good. Alright, sausage biscuit, sausage cheese biscuit, whoo. Mm. Good morning, good morning, how are you? Okay, hon. Good. I'm on my way to church. You need me to pray about anything this morning? Yeah. Tell them to give me a miracle and give me some my money. Miracle and give you so some I, money. Yes, yeah, so I can pay my bills this week. All right. Yes, ma'am. I will. Thank you. Have mm -hmm. a good day. Yes, ma'am. All right. You guys heard it. We need to pray that she gets her bills paid this week. Um. Uh, dear Heavenly Father, we just ask to come into your presence right now. Father, I do not know the woman that just took our money for the tolls, but God, she is in desperate need for financial help. And so God, I do not know anything about her. I do not know her story, but I know that you know her, that you know the very numbers of hair on her head, that you know every hurt, every um, disappointment in her life. And Father, I know that you are capable of impacting her life in magnificent ways. Father, I just ask that you impact her life first with love. 
Father, that she would be comforted in this hard time, that even though she is stressed financially, that she'll be able to find comfort in your embrace, wrapped up in your arms, Father, that she will find love and comfort. And Father, if if it be in your will or if you um, will, would you provide for her financially? Would you alleviate her stress by somehow, some way, giving her the finances she needs this week? But Father, above all, I ask that you help her to become closer to you because that's what we all need. So Father, I thank you for allowing me to have that second interaction with her. I just ask that it blesses her day. We pray all this in your son's name. Amen. Yeah. All right, guys, I am now pulling up to church, so I'm going to be shutting the video off. If I do happen to eat anything while I'm at church or throughout church, I'll try to record it on my phone. A really quick one last thing before I run into church, I was just going to give you guys an update on my calorie count. I am at 6,682 right now. Still a long ways to go. Still a very, very long ways to go. All right, guys, I'm now here with my beautiful wife. We just got out of church, and after church, we had a meeting with the pastor and stuff, which they fed us. But now we are at TGI Fridays and about to do the All You Could Eat apps. And I still have a long ways to go uh, to, do, to meet this challenge. I'm gonna show you guys right now where I'm at. Um, after the lunch, I am at 7,423, and it is 221. So I better make a dent in them now, or this may be impossible. But that's because we will see. Unhealthy eating partners here. Yes, so with her by my side, I may be able to do this now. Um, and church was a little bit longer than I thought. Awesome. You want to be in it? Meet our server. Hi, I'm Jay. Add me on Instagram now. <laughs> Wait, what's, Thick your, what's your Instagram name? Thick J Two Eyes. <laughs> Thick, Thick J Two Eyes. Add her on Instagram. Oh yeah. We're doing twenty thousand calorie challenge. What do you wow. think about that? Twenty thousand calories. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I'm feeling too. Yeah. Ah. I don't want to right. parts. We're gonna have to get to this. Like fifteen hundred, like <laughs> time stamp. Yeah. Yeah. So I have some bad news, but I have two witnesses. So we did some da Jack Daniels boneless wings, and I ate every single one of them with one and a half of these blue cheese cups, but I forgot to hit the record button. No, you did, it just wasn't on. Oh yeah, I hit the record button, but my camera wasn't on. So Phoebe's my witness, mm, oh, yeah. right, did I do it? And then when our waitress comes back, she will also be our witness. So now we have some Mott sticks, mm. and it is, 315. I need you to be completely 1000% honest. Okay. As honest as you can be. Okay. Did I eat all the or did I eat all the Jack Daniels? Did I eat all the Jack Daniels wings? Yes. Every single one of them? Or like 2.5 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I got sick of waiting, so I'm gonna finish Phoebe's last mozzarella stick. So then I'll just record it in a fourth of the mozzarella sticks for my fitness pal. The round of boneless wings. And meatballs. She is doing meatballs, and it is 3.39. Okay, I hope you guys are having a great day. I'm about to enjoy these wings.
I'll have to give you guys a calorie total if I can finish these next two apps. I do feel pretty good though, but it's probably because my wingman's with me. Get it, I mean, wingman. 404. We've got some potato skins and some mott sticks. So, to be honest, these potato skins are not very good. And so what I'm going to do is peel the cheese and bacon off of these other two. That looks like the type of potato skin I would make. And put it onto one. And then I'm going to eat this one and leave those other two out. So. I'll only put this in for just a little over of a half of it. The new potato skin. It's a mozzarella stick smashed on top of the potato skin. Getting full. Getting full. Hitting the wall. Keep going, keep going. You can do it. You're doing great. <laughs> I believe I'm going to eat these two and be finished. Yeah. All right, I am now officially full. I think I'm going to be done at TGI Fridays for now. We're going to add up the calories and we will be right back. See all this food? Listen, this is not even a half. The dishwasher has a problem. Right? <laughs> Thank I you so much. You're welcome. Anytime, okay? As long as the endless is going. <laughs> right, right, right. It was a pleasure, you two. Thank you. Thank you. you. Right. Cool. It is 425 right now and we are at 14,000. 826 calories. Phoebe and I just made it home. I am hurting. Okay, so I have to weigh out these. Hey, Ali, how are you? Full. Absolutely full. All right, so I have to weigh these cashews out for you. It says that there are nine servings and it's 28 grams a serving. So 28 times nine, let's figure that out real quick. That means there should have been 252 grams total. Here's the scale. It is zeroed out. Here's the can of cashews. And it says that we have 135. Okay, so I'm gonna subtract 252 minus 135. That means I had 117 grams of cashews. Divide that by 28. So that means I had 4.17 servings. So I'm gonna correct that my fitness pal and then I will give you guys the updated calorie count because I only had a couple ounces in there. So I had 4.1 ounces of cashews. Okay, so the new total is, all right, so the new total is 15,252 and it is 5 p.m. that I have to take a break because I am full and tired. So I'm gonna sleep it off and then hopefully get back to it. What's up, Allie? Not much, how are you? Good, I've been eating a lot of food today. I haven't eaten anything. Today. Hey, how many calories are in those? Let's see. So guys, 120, that's not enough. I gotta Serving have more than that. Size one uh, patty. So one patty is 120. Oh, I need more than that. <laughs> so Allie's another flight attendant that yeah, travels yeah. the world. I do. Allie, you love your job? I do love my job. Yeah? Depends on the day. <laughs>
Allie's one of the sweetest people we live with. Aww. One of. Phoebe's definitely first. <laughs> I don't know where she's at right now, actually. Alright, so I'm going to go take a nap. Hope you guys are enjoying the video. I have to eat 4,750 calories left. And he's doing great. <laughs> Thanks, sweetheart. I have only, as Junko would say, 5,000 calories left, and I want to knock some of them out before church. So what I have here is five Subway sugar cookies, which I am going to cut up, and then I'm gonna place them in this bowl and eat it as though it is cereal. 6.38. Allie says it is 6.38. God help me, and let's begin. All right, six Subway cookies done. Allie, what time is it? It is 6.42 p.m. 6.42 p.m. All right, so I'm gonna take another break and then maybe eat those last four sometime later. All right, Phoebe and I are now gonna go to church. As long as I do not pass out of a food coma, I will finish this challenge. I am not going to give up. I am, I am, I am going to finish. Um. Okay, change of plans. I decided I'm gonna go finish those last four cookies. I'm not gonna give up on those. I'm gonna get those four cookies so I'm in a good spot to be able to finish this challenge after church. Right now, after those six Subway cookies, I'm at 16,632 calories. <sighs> Bowl, milk, four cookies. I'm gonna bring them up two at a time. Six fifty six. That brings my total seventeen thousand five hundred and fifty two calories. Seven o'clock. Don't I have a beautiful wife? Stop. You like our church attire when we go to church at night? Look at that. Wear figs. What? Yeah. Oh, this is the beautiful town of Elizabeth, New Jersey. Woo! Woo. <laughs> Wait, let's take let's take Rolly. Okay. Check it. This Rolly needs a car wash. This is my car's girlfriend, Mrs. Rolly Skate. And here's my car. I don't know his name. We just named Rolly Skate. Oh. oh. His name is Rollerblade. Oh, oh that's so good. <laughs> Rolly skate and Rollerblade. Hoo-hoo. Match made in heaven. All right, off to church, and then we are going to finish this challenge. And I'm going to be done with it, and I'm not going to do a food challenge for a very, very long time. Diet starts tomorrow. Summer shredding. Which... For Jenny's wedding. <laughs> yeah, for Jenny's. Oh. And John. Jenny and the Blitz. The Blitz, who's watching this video. <laughs> who's gonna watch this video. We are gonna shred for their wedding. On June 17th. Yeah, June 17th, and hopefully we'll just get shredded. All right, time for church. Love you guys, and stick around to see if I'm able to finish this thing. All right, Tommy. Okay, so we're getting close to finishing this thing. This is the Tommy Martin. <laughs> And what it is, it is a peanut butter cup, cookie dough, peanut butter sauce, blizzard <laughs> with white ice cream. And Phoebe, the Phoebe Martin is the same thing but with chocolate ice cream. So this blizzard comes in at a whopping like 1,800 calories. We finished. It'll put me at 19,422 calories. All right, so let's try it.
Alright, so to end this challenge, I'm going to be doing butter pecan ice cream. I need to eat a little over two servings to get the 650 calories I need. So right now, I am scanning it in. 300 calories. We're going to get two. Let's do 2.2. .2. We'll put me at 660. 20,008 calories. I don't know if I'll finish all this right now, but I'm going to attempt. Sweet. Why don't you microwave it? Yeah. All right, my sweetheart's going to microwave it for me so that it'll be a little bit more melted. All right, and as I'm finishing these last couple bites, um, I just want to encourage you guys that any of you that may be in a relationship or that you may be married or dating someone or looking for someone to date, um, some advice I could give you is to be patient. Because man, I waited two and a half years to meet the girl of my dreams, the girl that I'm marrying, and it was such a blessing. And it has been a blessing every single day. I cannot even describe how fortunate I am to have such an incredible woman to be married to. And in that, I just want to ask you guys to be patient because God has someone out there for you um, that would compliment you in so many ways. And that when you and that person come together, you guys could do so much, you guys could do so many good things for the kingdom and you guys will be so successful in so many things because you guys support each other in doing that. So don't just settle for the average Joe. Girls out there, do not just settle for some random guy because you guys are so perfectly designed and wonderfully made and God has created you guys just with such a beautiful heart that it should not be tainted. And so please just hold on and wait for a guy that will treat you like you're the only person in the world that would treat you as uh, Christ would as scripture says it says that uh, husbands should treat their wives the way Christ treated the church and that was that he laid his life down for the church and so I just beg you to please wait and guys out there wait and be patient and obedient to Christ wait for his uh, subtle but clear instruction on who you should pursue because as you do he'll bring you a helper that'll make you more confident stronger, more courageous, and will just support you in everything that you do and help you become a stronger man. And in doing so, it'll bring you both closer to Christ. So just a little rant before I end this challenge. Let me finish it up now. Thank you for the support, girls. <laughs> All right, so the 20,000 calorie challenge is in the books. Praise the Lord, I am now done with that. So tomorrow, we are starting our summer shred. <laughs> and now I have a lot of weight to shred after this. Um, so I finished right at, let's see here. I finished right at 20,008 calories. 20,008. Eight calories. So what we had today, you can just hold, what we had today were some donuts and some more donuts, lots and lots of donuts, and then tons of sugar cookies and du double chocolate chip cookies, white chocolate cookies or white macadamia nut chocolate cookies. I'm a little and then we had some McDonald's uh, sausage biscuit with cheese, some hash browns breakfast burritos, and then we did that all you could eat endless apps, which they were absolutely delicious. You guys can see here. I had some of those peanut butter wafers. I had one and a half, one and a half of those. Um, I had some white chocolate Reese's, which I didn't tell Phoebe about. Those were delicious. I had 4.1 ounces of cashews, some more sugar cookies, peanut butter that was in the um, the blizzard that I had, then that giant blizzard, and then this butter pecan ice cream. And that brings us to 20,008 calories. 
and my nutrition facts, 462 grams of protein, 1,746 carbohydrates with 684 sugar and 1,196 grams of fat. All right guys, so that is it for this food challenge. So as I end this video, if you guys are still watching this video, I wanna thank you guys so much for stopping by my YouTube channel. If you guys have enjoyed, just please like this video, you can share it, and please subscribe to my channel. And before I end, I want you guys to know that you are greatly, greatly loved, and that you are wonderfully and beautifully created, and that you are capable of more than you could ever imagine. Keep chasing your dreams with endless love and relentless passion. Good night guys, I'm off to pass out.